A lot of emotion there, um, Denise. Oh, even covering something like that, because I, I was at the, I was on Parliament Hill when the apology was issued for 100 Huntley Street, and um, that was such an emotional day. But to see that sort of response to that apology was um, profound. That's what Chuck Straw, those were the words he said, it was a humbling experience for him. And you could visually see he was humbled by this sort of honor that the First Peoples were bestowing upon him and saying, yeah, we, we want to respond to that, you know, that step you took toward us mm -hmm. and we're going to forgive you. And um, I really think we're going to see some changes, just like Rabbit said, in communities. You just watch and see what happens as a result of what happened in Ottawa. So many believe that Canada has a prophetic role in the healing of the nations. This is business we mm -hmm. have needed to take care of. And I'm so thrilled for Kenny Blacksmith, mm -hmm. uh, founder and director of Gathering Nations International, former Deputy Grand Chief of the Cree Nation of Quebec. This really was his vision, and he's held fast to it, we followed the Journey of Freedom mm -hmm. tour. I think he was very pleased with evidence of the freedom of forgiveness in this event. Yeah, and you didn't have to be part of that um, community to, ex to experience that spirit or that openness and that healing as well, because I think there's a message for all of us there, um, especially when you consider the abuse Kenny Blacksmith endured you know, I think it was physical, sexual, all, all of these emotional things that they lived through, being separated from your family, from your home, um, those are very profound wounds. And then to see them on stage like that, celebrating, saying we're free, you know, and that where that freedom comes from, I was so honored to be part of that day. I think it's really critical for um, men and women of faith to, to remember as vital as it is for us to have a personal relationship with the Lord. And of course, Huntley Street uh, for 33 years has been promoting that strongly, every, every program and 24 seven with the prayer partners. Mm -hmm. there, there, there is a bigger picture than one's personal destiny. There is a destiny mm -hmm. of nations. There is um, God's love for the nations. Mm -hmm. And uh, Canada, without question, has a catalytic role to play. Uh, whether you call it prophetic or catalytic or what, we, we are a player in the nations. And uh, mm -hmm. we need to be as strong and as healthy and as functional as possible. And in many ways, this whole process, beginning with the Prime Minister's apology, and then this event here in Ottawa just a few weeks ago, uh, to me, uh, is evidence of um, a healing that's going on mm -hmm. uh, in, in the nation. And it can only have a positive uh, domino effect out there, vis-a-vis -vis this last few days. Mm -hmm. I mean, here's our prime minister playing an increasingly vital role uh, and influencing, you know, taking Merkel aside, taking uh, mm -hmm. Sarkozy aside, uh, you know, twisting an arm or two uh, yeah. and, and saying, now come on, uh, guys and gals, let's, let's, let's get our houses in order here. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we can't allow our, ourselves as a world to, to enter into some kind of economic morass. We've got to pull ourselves up and we've got to, uh, you know, uh, define a better future. And I, I think it's, um, you know, it, all of these things are tied together. I wonder if um, these quick quotes from John Stott are, mm. are relevant today and in light of these important news events that we've mm. been looking at. He says, we must be global Christians with a global vision because our God is a global God. Mm. His authority on earth allows us to dare to go to all the nations. His authority in heaven gives us our only hope of success mm -hmm. and his presence with us leaves us no other choice. Mm. I think the presence of God in this forgiveness event mm -hmm. A uh, friend of mine was there. She works with the First Peoples dancers and she could hardly say a sentence without breaking mm -hmm. uh, because it was so profound in her experience mm -hmm. oh. just being there. Mm -hmm. Well, Denise, great reports and uh, great, great having you on the, on, on the site. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, it really means a lot to us and to our viewers. Good Thank job. You. Thanks, Denise.